Hello friends, Mrs. Hafner here, ready to read another book with you. Now, you and I have read a lot of Mo Willems books, Elephant and Piggy and Pigeon, but today I have a different book by Mo Willems that maybe some of you have not heard yet. This book is called Naked Mole Rat Gets Dressed. Pretty silly, right? Now a naked mole rat is a real animal. Check out some of these pictures. Now this book is fiction, which means it's not a real story. But Mo Willems does ask some pretty good questions that you can think about. Let's listen to Naked Mole Rat Gets Dressed by Mo Willems. Naked Mole Rat Gets Dressed. No shirts, no shoes, service. Naked Mole Rat Gets Dressed by Mo Willems. There is so much to learn about the fascinating little creatures known as naked mole rats. But for this story, you only need to know three things. They're a little bit rat, they're a little bit mole, they are all naked. Well, they were with one exception. Wilbur. Wilbur, the naked mole rat, would like to get dressed. Hello. When the other naked mole rats saw him, they said, Ew! Yuck! What are you doing? I like clothes, replied Wilbur. When I get dressed, I can be fancy or funny or cool, or I can just be an astronaut. When the others heard that, they said, ew, yuck. If you like clothes so much, then why don't you open a store or something? Naked mole rats can be very sarcastic. Hmm. Hmm. But Wilbur thought that was a great idea. Clothes. The other naked mole rats did not. They brought Wilbur to a giant portrait of Grandpa, the oldest, greatest, and most naked mole rat there ever was. Look at that picture, they demanded. Look at his heroic face. Look at his regal bearing. Look at his total lack of clothing. Grandpa did look heroic. Grandpa did look regal. But he would also look heroic and regal in a casual shirt and some summer slacks. Oh, said the other naked mole rats. Don't you get it? Naked mole rats don't wear clothes. Why not? asked Wilbur. Something had to be done. Hmm, that's a great question. Why not? Hmm. The naked mole rats marched right over to Grandpa and told him all about Wilbur. And then he asked, why not? Grandpa was wise. He thought very seriously about everything he had heard. Hmm. Ah. Hmm. Then he thought some more. 
What do you think Grandpa's going to say? Do you have a prediction? Think in your mind. Let's find out if you're right. Finally, he said in a heroic, regal voice, Gather the colony! I shall make a proclamation! When Wilbur heard about Grandpa's proclamation, he knew it was serious. A proclamation! A proclamation! A proclamation! But he had no idea what to wear. In the end, he decided to play it safe. Maybe not safe enough. Look, he's the only one wearing socks. The others were so busy looking at Wilbur's socks that no one noticed Grandpa enter until he cleared his throat and proclamated. <clears throat> Fellow naked mole rats, I had never worn clothes until I heard Wilbur's simple question, why not? Why not indeed? Do clothes hurt anyone? No. Are they fun? Well, maybe not for everyone, but this old naked mole rat wishes he had tried getting dressed sooner. Then, Grandpa complimented Wilbur on his socks. Nice socks. As fast as his legs could take him home, Wilbur rushed home to put on his favorite outfit and dashed back. Was your prediction right? When he returned, Wilbur discovered he was not alone. Much has been said about that day, but for this story, you only need to know three things. One, some of the mole rats were naked. Two, some of the mole rats were clothed. Three, all of the mole rats had a great time. So did it matter if they were dressed or naked? They realized they could all be friends and have fun. Check out this part. Clothes. What do you notice on the shirt? Kitchen. Wilbur's signs say, all sizes, grandpa approved. Why not? The end. Why not? I love that story. It really makes me laugh. I like how Grandpa really thought about that. Why not? Did clothes hurt anyone? No. So, might as well. I would love to see some pictures of what you've been doing while we've been away. I've been doing a lot of reading. I hope you have too. Love you. Bye. Apparently, that was a good bedtime story for Cash. <laughs>